Hey everybody, this is Joshua Tucker, the tendonitis expert. And this video is about what is Leviquin used for? And why the blanky blank is it prescribed for acne, for God's sake? So quick review. Leviquin is a member of a very powerful class of antibiotics called fluoroquinolones. Its cousins, or brothers, depending on how I think about it, are levofloxacin, cipro, ciprofloxacin, avalox, floxin, offloxacin, norfloxacin, moxifloxacin, and others. Fluoroquinolones are a very powerful class of antibiotics. They're broad spectrum, kind of like using a shotgun, and it's a very powerful shotgun. These are powerful, powerful drugs. They come in pill form, and they come in the form of IV. Generally, they're not straight injected, but they're injected into the IV bags. There's options there. Anyway, pill or IV is generally how you get them. But what is Leviquin used for? The answer is, unfortunately, way too much. Way too many things. What it should be used for is bacterial infections and very powerful bacterial infections that no other antibiotics can touch. So skin infections, sinus infections, kidney infections, bladder infections, prostate infections, lung infections, etc. That's what they should be used for, but really only if, only if your life really depends on it. Because there are many other antibiotics that doctors could choose from. The state of affairs these days is fluoroquinolones are being used very frequently and for minor or not life-threatening bacterial issues. And even worse than that, they're being used for issues like acne, which is minor. One could argue whether antibiotics should be used or not, but point being, antibiotics are being used so much they're even being prescribed for acne. That's a problem specifically for Leviquin because Leviquin being such a powerful broad-based antibiotic with significant risk of side effects, and I should say significant side effects, it's, I'm going to say, silly to use fluoroquinolones like Leviquin for acne. It's just too big of a tool for too minor of an issue. So as I said, Leviquin should be used for serious, significant bacterial infections. The problem is, again, the state of affairs these days, is a lot of times these powerful antibiotics are being given for non-bacterial infections and or in scenarios like prostatitis, where very often that infection is fungal, not bacterial. And yet the standard of care is to give Leviquin for prostatitis, even without any testing to see if there's a bacterial issue. Same with bronchitis, a lung issue. Bronchitis is often just an inflammation scenario and not a bacterial infection. And yet Leviquin is prescribed for that without any testing done. Some skin infections are life-threatening, and if they're bacterial, then Leviquin would be, you know, arguably worth the risk, because sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. If your life is on the stake and other antibiotics, by antibiotics aren't working, well, then you might just have to take the risk. But in general, Leviquin is used for too many things, minor things and things that aren't even proven to be bacterial infections. And you might be upset if you had prostatitis or bronchitis, took Leviquin, got significant side effects, and then found out later that you didn't even have a bacterial infection. That's a problem. If you'd like to find out more about what Leviquin is used for, and other information about Leviquin in general, including side effects and what to do about it, visit my website, tendonitisexpert.com backslash what dash it is dash Leviquin dash used dash for dot html, and there's a link to that page underneath this video.